keeping it roadside. Managed to find a roadside joint here. Uh, we're gonna go in here and have some food. Um, just coming outside, there's a fruit store right outside. We're just across the road from where we're staying. So let's have a look and see what's going in. What's this one? What's this one? Is it fruit? Yes. It's sweet? Yes. Okay. When I come out, I'll buy some, yeah? Yeah. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> All right, so it's come out mighty quick. So obviously sort of like in a peanut sauce. I got mine with a chili pepper there. And apparently, this is fish. Looks like meatballs. That's what I'm saying. It's fish balls. Oh, fish, oh, fish balls. balls. No, I, don't, I don't eat nothing else apart from fish. That's why I'm scared of it. Yeah, no, it's fish balls. Oh. It's like a, a fillet type of thing, but they probably are making this. Exactly. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. You yeah. alright though? Yeah. It's not hot, innit? It's not hot, man. I understand. It's not hot. Mm. It needs meat. Yeah, it's not hot. It's, it's cold. It's cold. Yeah, yeah, the food not hot. Yeah. It means warming up. For the pepper. Alright, let's see what this pepper is saying. Ooh. Ooh. Mm -mm. But that's some heat. I don't know what it is. Um, any Gambians or West Africans in the comments tell me what it is, but apparently it's a local fruit and you're supposed to peel it and then eat it. So I sort of started peeling this one. I think it all just comes off. It looks kind of green inside. It feels very much like an, a bit like an avocado. Have a look at this. I don't know how it tastes though. Apparently. You can just eat this. It's got a mad Stinks. smell. Stinks. What kind of fruit that is? Sour. Very strange taste is it and smell. I can't really describe it. That's the strangest tasting fruit I've ever had. I can't even describe it. And it's got a weird aftertaste. That was very uneventful food was cold um, bit of flavor in it more flavor than we'd had in some of the other dishes but we're just walking up the road now gonna have to try and find something else to eat and hopefully uh, it can be warm and flavorful uh, but yeah African appetite still rolling still trying to see where where the day's gonna take us today but yeah on the hunt out for some food and that fruit that I ate oh god this one here, I've still got the other one. It's the weirdest, weirdest smelling fruit I've ever smelt. And then the taste is just like the smell. And it's so difficult to describe. Um, so in the comments below, if anyone can actually tell me what's the name of the actual, um, what's the name of the fruit? Because I've never come across that fruit. In all my travels around Africa, and even in Europe, I've never, come across that so I don't exactly know what it is so if someone can let me know what it is uh, then maybe I can um, give it a proper description uh, I can Wikipedia it I, I, I never know it might, might even have some health benefits it might have not been um, intended to be eaten like that I don't, I don't know the lady had limited English she just said to me you peel it uh, now whether she was saying you peel it and you cook it I don't know so but I peeled it and ate it so <laughs> But yeah, all right.
It's long? Not long, yeah? Okay. This is what we've been looking for. The food has finally come after what seems like an age. Um, what I've got here, I've got a fried red snapper. I've got it with some chips. Uh, it's got some salad there on the side. And this little mix up thing here, but yeah. Everything's piping hot, all looking good. Gonna get stuck in and see what's warning. And Mr. Richards has got a grilled snapper, so he's got a snapper, but it's grilled. A bit of rice, same size. I think it's like it. Enjoy yeah. your meal. And what have you got? You, I have um, battered fish with um, fish chips and, and little salad. Hmm. Well, I can't even wait. I'm gonna go straight in for the fish. Let's see how good it is. Mm. Looks fresh and moist. Just been looking forward to fish. It's not what. Oh yeah. That's worth the wait. Mmm. Just to have some fish, I tell you what, yeah. That's fine perfectly because sometimes the snapper can be over fried. This one's actually moist in the middle. I like that lightly seasoned. Yeah, I'm feeling that. It is, isn't it? Let me see if I can get the get this condiment. Put that on there. Do do do. Yeah, man, definitely fish. The grill is got the fried fish. Oh, see your phone's covered. You took his time, come. Yeah, with well, the onions. The onions, that's really nice. Fish and onions always go well. I think these onions have got like a bit of mustard and something else in them. But, Man, I've been waiting for a proper meal for a little while. Been here a few days and we haven't really eaten proper food. This is the first proper food. I'm going with one of these chips. Chips is chips, fam. There's got little, some pickles here. Oh, that's a nice touch. I like them pickles. Some fresh tomato. And a, and a fish. <laughs> Slow. Hang around with and chips. No. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. The bone, yeah? That's a beautiful fish. It's not about the bone. Come tell me. Enjoying fish. I can't see the head. I can't see the body. What am I eating? So here. Yeah. I'm hungry. No, is that the one I'm eating? <laughs> well, yeah, and I like my fish. I know what I'm eating. Yeah. Hey, love my fish. Good. Yeah, it's nice. Mm. Well, it's the first fish I've experienced. So I should have got this, but I just wanted something. I'll tell you which place to try. Which one? Right, also got some wings here, so got some wings to go alongside it. It's like this thing, this mixture with the onions and that, that seems to come with everything. It seems to come with everything. And then got some wings here as well. So yeah, but the wings, I'm going to freestyle, I'm going to go in 
Obviously the slaw. It's got some cool slaw there as well. Yeah, let's give this a try. Have a look. Look at this chicken. It's quite well grilled. Let's see exactly what this one's saying. There's a one there. That's what I say. The little lobster that I had, I had one little scoop of lobster and I paid 30 seconds. Oh man. Oh yeah. That's on point. That is some tasty wing. Right, there it is. Yeah. Taste it with some more of that. The onion you stew. Some pickles. Right, said, two little wings left. I'm gonna just. Uh, to the south, we said that. We said Paradise Beach. The south, we said you don't know, nobody hassling you when it's like trying to sell shit to you. Now you guys, it's really nice up there. Because it's nice and people are really the same thing in the same way, but they don't hassle you. The boys has been down for so long. They've got to make the most of it. It's down for so long. Yeah. That's a mustard based pepper sauce here. Yeah. To me? It's very much like the Bayesian Still, pepper sauce. I ain't giving them a Yeah, it works with his wings. I'm not making eye contact. I don't mm. talk to nobody. Probably the most enjoyable meal I've had so far here in the Gambia. The fact that we've found fish that's actually fish. Very time. I'm coming here again. Wings that are hot. Definitely going to come here again. Try some of the other dishes. The last thing I'm going to try is a fish that Neil got. I don't know what fish it is. I'm trying to work out what it is. I think it's a but I think it's butterfish. It might be butterfish. How moist and tender that is in the middle. Right, we're all but done and dusted. And the only thing left to do is me old mate Chris now. Yeah. That was up there. And um, just speaking to a couple who was here earlier on. And they've directed us to a local spot that apparently they grill uh, chicken and fish outdoors and serve that up all day. So we're going to have to go and check that out probably tomorrow and see what's happening. It's literally around the corner from where we are just now. Um, so yeah, um, carry on following us. Don't know where the night's going to take us today, but it is Friday night. Apparently it's a reggae night again, uh, Senegambia, so we're probably going to go down the strip, see what's, what that's saying. Uh, might go down to the beach, and um, I think they want to get a pedicure or something, so might head down to the beach. But, um, yeah, African appetite, feeling the vibe, like, share, and subscribe.